the flying monkey, monkey bar jumps, the lache, whatever you want to call it. It looks impressive, it looks scary, but it is possible. Watch this video where I teach you how you can do it. I believe it's more achievable than people realize, but it is important to progress through the steps. If you're no stranger to monkey bars, to ninja warrior training, or to bodyweight workouts, then there's no reason why it shouldn't be achievable to you. Safety should always come first. Don't even attempt a lache until you're confident in your strength and ability. And as I said earlier, this will come from bodyweight workouts, ninja training, and monkey bar work. These are the three most important things to learn, in my opinion, when it comes to the monkey bar lache. Here they are, broken down. The first thing I'm gonna look at is the dismount. Learning how to land safely will help to build that confidence. Begin with a kick out from a dead hang position. Gradually build up the swing. Use the knees to increase the size of the swing and progress to bigger dismounts. And release the bar as the body is in the upswing. The bigger the swing, the higher the dismount, which brings me nicely on to the swing. The swing is where the propulsion comes from. You're literally flying through the air momentarily and that flight comes from the swing. A bigger backswing creates more propulsion after releasing the bar. There's a little kick behind, but it's the big kick forward which is most important as this gives a big backswing and allows for a bigger jump. The higher the knees, the bigger the kick, the bigger the jump. The forward kick results in the body pretty much becoming horizontal. And this gives us a bigger lever to take us into the backswing. Relax the body and allow the legs to come up behind. And then it's about releasing at the right time. As the body comes around the bar, lift the knees up high, keeping your eyes on the target. The torso then becomes upright and we come down onto the bar for the catch. And then you need to be able to hit your target or catch the bar. Gain confidence by jumping from the floor to the bar. Build up the size of the jump and practice this as many times as you need. With all that considered, here are some other useful tips. When you're ready to give it a go, start with a small gap, leading with one hand, aiming just to touch. Build this up to one hand, then the other, and then eventually a two hand catch. And repeat this process as you progress through bigger jumps. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this was useful. Please check out the rest of my channel and the playlists for more tutorials and tips and tricks. I'll see you very soon on the next video.